generator. So before taking a performance, we need, it is very usual to know why we need to take the performance of generator. The idea to take is uh, we just need to ensure your the generator is performing well. All your uh, cylinder liner integrity is in a good condition. Your fuel pump is performing well, and your fuel injector is in a good condition, and all your cylinder heads are in proper condition, working in a good condition at high load. So usually, whenever you want to take a performance, you have to take at least eighty percent of the generator's maximum load. So how we need to gain that load? Maybe at sea we don't have that much load, so we need to start balance from five pump whatever. To increase the load, so that is how we can increase the load when we need to get the performance of the generator. So this is called a performance indicator. So this is the device that we use to take the, the performance for the generator. So for main engine it is different. This kind of device we use for generator. So what are all the parameters that we need to take when we take the performance? So we need to make sure we note all the parameters like the exhaust gas, your cooling motor, inlet, outlet, your fuel oil rack, fuel oil temperature, and uh, when you take the combustion pressure, you have to know that also. So all the running parameters, cooling motor, lube oil, fuel oil, all parameters we have to note it. So this will be like uh, this is your uh, chart. This is your data sheet. So you have to fill all this. What? How much is the load? Generator output. What is your load indicator of governor? Fuel peak pressure. Cooling water. Lube oil. Boost air. So all this thing you have to fill. So this is how you have to take the reading of all the parameters when you are going to take the performance. The main thing is when your generator is designed to run in heavy fuel oil. You have to take performance only in heavy fuel oil. So it is always recommended to take in heavy fuel oil when you take performance. And once you take the performance, you can compare with the sea trial report so that uh, you can make out how your performance of your generator is uh, okay by the time when you take take over the vessel, like during sea trial. Sea trial means new, newly built. So when we are taking over the vessel, they used to take the performance. So we confer so that we can uh, decide whether we need to do any uh, maintenance work in your generator. Like so, okay. So now uh, we'll go to generator and we'll take the performance. You can see the load. Eh? Load is around 480 kilowatt, and you can see the amps over here, and it's uh, 450 volt. So now we are going to take performance for this generator number three. Now the generator is running on 80% load. Now we came to the generator area. So all we need to do is first you have to take the parameters for the boost air, high temperature cooling water, low temperature cooling water, turbocharger oil pressure, lube oil pressure and uh, RPM. Everything you have to note down in your sheet, performance sheet. So now we are securing the fuel pump cover. So now what we need to do is you have to blow through all the units blow through that means you have to ensure that no hot deposits is in way of your indicator cock so that it don't uh, damage your performance indicator because this performance indicator is very sensitive so in case uh, if your indicator cock is not blown through that uh, particles which is there inside the system may damage your performance indicator now we are going to fix the performance indicator over the indicator cock so indicator cock will be having a threaded type so all we need to do is you have to just need to screw it down so or i'm going to this is how you have to fit the performance indicator actually this performance indicator got the error of uh, 30 bar so what we need to do is uh, uh, so i tightened with the help of tommy bore so then you have to close the performance indicator the knob so now I open the performance uh, indicator cock now the indicator is showing uh, 150 bar so I am releasing the pressure 
from the indicator bar from the performance indicator so as i said it got a 30 bar uh, uh, error so i have to minus that 30 bar error so it is around 120 bar pressure p max is 120 bar inside that particular unit so the same way you have to be very careful when you are doing this when you are taking this performance because uh, this performance indicator will be always very hot uh, so that always wear a glass so again i am showing you clearly how to fix the performance indicator just uh, tighten it once you tighten it use your uh, tommy bar to tighten the performance indicator you can see the error is already 30 bar so now you have to close the performance indicator once you closed you open the indicator cock so the cylinder pressure will be shown inside will be shown displayed in the gauge it is also showing 150 that is 150 minus 30 bar is 120 bar so i am releasing the performance indicator pressure so before releasing that you have to close the indicator cock okay so i had completed for two units and i am going to take for the third unit so again the same way fit it and thread it over the indicator cock tighten it with the help of a tommy bar and tighten close the performance indicator knob and open the indicator cock once you open the pressure inside the cylinder head inside the combustion chamber will be displayed so again 150 once it is done you have to close the indicator cock and open the performance indicator knob so this is how you have to take the performance for all the units suppose if it is six units take for all the six units so by taking the by measuring the performance you can see uh, the maximum pressure which is uh, created inside the combustion chamber so if there is any a difference if it the difference is more than 10 20 bar then you have to look into the fuel injector part or else you have to check for the other troubleshooting things why the pressure is less and everything the idea of taking the performance uh, for generator is to ensure the air performance of the generator is uh, well at high load so even you can take at low load also not a problem that uh, you have to ensure that uh, all the units are uh, giving proper proper uh, reading eh? you have to take the reading properly and you have to uh, ensure the readings is taken in a correct way that means you have to properly fit your uh, performance indicator in place tighten it properly you have to ensure the gauge is proper sometimes you will get uh, a gauge uh, maybe some error will be there so accordingly you have to calculate your data for example this gauge is having 30 bar error so whatever the reading i get i will uh, minus 30 bar so this is the last unit so done almost uh, all the six units are uh, giving same pressure all are showing 120 bar peak pressure so this generator is performing well okay i'm happy so once this is done then you have to take the fuel pump rack position you have to take the cylinder exhaust temperature of each and every unit so you can see you can get it from here for all the unit you have to check the cylinder exhaust gas temperature it should be same and next you have to check the fuel pump rack you have to check the or how much knots it's inside uh, this is a Daihatsu engine so it's little bit very uh, hard to get the reading through camera I'm trying to show it but uh, you can see a small uh, uh, fuel rock C you can see here yeah this is the rack and you have to take the reading uh, from the rack so once that is done then you have to go for the boost air temperature then you have to take the governor position all this reading as i said earlier cooling water lube oil rpm fuel oil pressure temperature and everything then you have, you have to note it every each and every reading in the performance sheet so 
all the data should be entered taken this is your uh, turbo charger inlet and you can go for uh, this is your uh, boost air temperature and uh, all these parameters you have to take and uh, write down in your performance sheet so that you can compare it with the C trial record and current performance record so you can check whether the generator is performing well or uh, it's underperforming whether we need to do some uh, repair for uh, see this is the rack huh? you can see the rack you can see the rack I'm trying to focus on the rack but I couldn't able to make it out okay anyway so these are all the things that you need to do when you are uh, taking performance so this is your uh, turbocharger inlet exhaust temperature for all six units and then you can come for uh, this is your lube oil temperature cooler before cooler and after cooler so then what else what else what else this is your uh, cooling water outlet temperature